Hello everyone, welcome back to Parts of Games, and before we start the actual video, I just want to recommend you a video I did a couple weeks ago, which is kind of creepy, which is about the oldest Five Nights at Freddy's theory I could find on the internet, and if you're interested in that, it's in the iCard in the top right corner, and also in the description, so I recommend you to just right click it, open a new tab, and once you're done watching this video, you can just watch that one. And you'll thank me later, it's a really interesting video, but now, let's get into this one. And today's video is going to be about how to bypass the FNAF ban, which you can find on Scratch, and if you haven't heard about it, definitely make sure to check out my video about it which is also in the description but to summarize what happened is basically that the scratch team decided that FNAF projects are too scary to be featured on the FNAF website and so most of them have been unpublished and also if you search for FNAF on the search bar it actually doesn't show you any results so it's kind of censored in that way and today's video is going to be about how you can publish your FNAF project on the scratch website even though they're actually banned so the first step is definitely to not call it Five Nights at Freddy's do not call your project Five Nights at Freddy's even FNAF might not be a good idea just call it something else five nights at whatever four nights at whatever just don't call it five nights at freddy's that's number one number two is not to actually include any actual uh, content from the real game which is something that i've done in the past i usually when i made these projects i just used the original sounds and uh, textures from the actual game and that led to them being unpublished so if you want to avoid that, just uh, maybe create your own sprites. I've seen some people actually use Blender to make their own uh, 3D models and then use those for sprites. So that's also really cool if you want to do that, if you can do that, if you know how to use uh, Blender, for example. But yeah, just in general, don't actually use real FNAF assets if you're going to publish your FNAF project on Scratch because it probably has a much higher chance of being deleted then. And now the next point is that you should probably include in the main menu a checkbox which disables or enables jump scare. So if you start the project jump scares should be disabled probably and only if you actually check the box which says yes i want to see jump scares you actually get jump scares in the game so this way you actually give users the chance if there's like someone who's six years old or something some really young user they can choose whether or not they actually want to be jump scared or not because that was one of the arguments by the scratch team when they banned fnaf games which was that the scratch website should be accessible to anyone and that anyone should be able to enjoy the projects that are on there so just make sure to include a jump scare on off switch in the main menu and another point is that you should probably also include a warning at the beginning of the game right at the beginning just like the actual real fnaf game also has a warning at the beginning just warning people that this project is going to include scary stuff and if they don't enjoy scary stuff they shouldn't play this project and now the next and i think best option is if you don't want to change anything about your project if you want to upload it just the way it is you can actually upload it to game jolt for example and the way to do that is explained in a tutorial which is coming very soon and it will be in the i card in the top right corner or in the description as well and in that tutorial i'll explain how to download your scratch project convert it into a file that you can upload to game jolt and and then how to actually publish it on Game Jolt in order to make it playable for everyone so that it doesn't have to adhere to the Scratch FNAF ban. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I could help you a little bit with uh, uploading your FNAF project. I think it's kind of sad that you can't upload your FNAF project anymore to Scratch. It was kind of part of Scratch culture actually for a while. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and leave a like. And here you can actually see how many of my viewers are actually not subscribed yet. And if you're one of those and you want to make my day, just subscribe. It's free and you'll be notified when I upload new videos. As I said, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.